Uh, good evening, this is Al Kim. Welcome back to my channel. I know that I've been on here lately. Um, there, I know there's a misconception about something that I've shown on uh, social media lately. Uh, we got the court papers. Uh, supposed to be going in Monday. Um, uh, there's some procedures I wasn't aware of. Uh, yeah, so, yes, I'm at the mall. So, um, what's happening is that um, the lawyer sent the papers, their lawyer sent the papers, and they sent not three, but eight envelopes with James and John Doe's and because I'm saying this is a Facebook also. And I'm sure they're uh, confused what is going on. Is this a scam or what is this? Is this something, does they all know what's going on? And I mean, the landlord, oh, believe it, they know what's going on. Because they want to kick us out. And on the letter, of course, they said, oh, we demand interest on top of the 1380. Well, we were supposed to have been out of there on May 31st. It didn't happen. We were hoping to be out in 15, 20 days. Again, it didn't happen. When it looked like it wasn't going to happen, we did call up Monday before the papers arrived, telling them we were sending the 1380. So by Monday, they would have the money in their account or in the mailbox where I sent it. Now, the eight uh, envelopes. I'm going to have to address this. We don't know if this was done by error or, as you would say, maybe a scam. Well, I remember I did research on um, the financial crisis of uh, a decade ago. And one particular bank tried to foreclose on a couple, even though they, they weren't behind in the mortgage or anything. For some reason, they decided to foreclose on them. So what happened? The lawyer, the bank's lawyer, that's what they did with us. And there's only two people. A couple, husband and wife. They don't have no kids. They send, up, they send them about six of those things. What they found out is when they were going through the process, they found out that for every of these extra envelopes they sent, the law firm was charging 500, over $500 per envelope. So that's way over $3,000. So you can imagine if they were doing the same thing here, it, it, it may be more than $500. So you're talking about what? Five to $10,000 uh, a piece? You're talking about way over $6,000? So either it was a mistake or maybe you think it is a scam. But we'll find out when we go to court. And if it is, I'm going to tell the judge, we're not paying for all this. Because the court sent uh, little cards about the court date. Three. They sent eight. So apparently, either they did it an error or they're doing it to, yes, to make money off of us. They're not going to pay for it, and if I'm necessary, I'm going to call it out to the judge. And hey, this has happened before in a, in a case, a financial crisis. By the way, the couple won their case. The judge threw out the, uh, the extra uh, paperwork. They were going to let him hit him with the over $500. That was ridiculous. So. That's where we're standing right now. So this is Alcan saying so long for now. Don't forget your stop.